If it rains, the roads become wet. The roads are wet now, so it is raining, right? No. This is an example of a logical fallacy that far too many people seem to suffer from. In this video, I will discuss a simple visual concept that will help you avoid this logical mistake once and forever. The secret lies in representing events as geometric spaces. Here's what I mean. Let's say that each event is a point. And let us also assume that all possible events exist inside a rectangle. If we now have an implication P implies Q, for example, if it rains, then the roads are wet, we can represent these statements graphically. So now, if we think about this event Q, how can we represent it in this rectangle? Well, I suggest that we represent Q as a big green circle. So this green circle consists of all events where the roads are wet. For example, it contains an event where the roads are wet on a Tuesday, the roads are wet on a Monday, the roads are wet in Canada. So it contains all possible events where this condition is satisfied. And now think about P. What does P look like on this picture? Well, because P implies Q, meaning that every time P happens, we know that Q happens, we of course understand that P can be represented as a circle inside the green circle. So what does it mean? It means that when P happens or when you end up in a red circle, you know that Q happens. So you know that you're also inside the green circle. And this geometric representation is very powerful because now when you think about the reverse implication, I mean, if Q happens, does it mean that P happens? Well, you know that it's false because you can have points that belong to the green circle which are outside the red circle. So when Q happens, P is not guaranteed to happen. So you know that this implication does not hold in general. But there is, however, one thing that we can deduce from the original implication. And in order to see that, I suggest we look at the outsides of these two circles. So in yellow, I will have not Q. Because when we are in this yellow zone, we do not belong to the green circle. So we are not Q. And in this pink color, I will represent the outside of the red circle. And what does pink area represent? Well, it represents not P, right? Because when we are in the purple zone, we are not in P. And what can you see? What kind of relation can you spot between purple and yellow? Well, the purple area is bigger. It contains the yellow area. So once we know that we are inside the yellow area, we are guaranteed to be inside the purple area. So in this drawing, I decided to make the yellow area more explicit. And behind this yellow area, there is still purple area. But the purple area is bigger because there are parts of it that are here outside the red circle. So you see once again that once we are inside the yellow area, 
we are guaranteed to be inside the purple area. Therefore, this implication, this logical statement, is valid. So remember, when you have an implication, P implies Q, it is not the fact that you can reverse the implication, but you can only do so if you also negate the statements. And it makes more sense, because in our example, this will become, if the roads are dry, then it is not raining, which of course makes much more sense.